Good morning, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to our 90 at 9 morning briefing. Everything you need to start the day in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news overnight that the oil price has jumped to $120 a barrel. There's some problems in Nigeria where rebels have raided pipelines and the tension is growing between Iran and the West over its nuclear ambitions. OPEC is also refusing to increase supply. Some worry that it can't actually increase supply. Because of that, the Dow fell 90 points. There's also talk that Bank of America may walk away from its deal to buy Countrywide Financial, which was America's largest mortgage writer. In Australia, Tricom, the brokerage, has found a white knight investor to keep it going, a Danish investment bank. And closer to home, Toll Holdings, its shares rose 80 cents after it sold New Zealand's trains and ferries to the government for $665 million. This was $235 million above book value. And finally, Mark Bryars of Blue Chip Infamy is plying his trade again in Australia with a new company called Barclay Walsh. Watch out for it. And that uses the Blue Chip system. It's so familiar, Bryars even forgot to change the name to Barclay Walsh in several places on his website. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 for interest.co.nz.